welcome to our channel easy b tech this is rujna in the last session i had discussed about data types what are they so integer float complex string boolean bytes byte array nun and range okay the remaining data types i will discuss in the later sessions today i discuss about type conversions type conversions what is type conversion so type conversion or type casting type casting is a method converting from one data type to another data type converting from one data type to another data type in python predefined functions are available to convert perform to to convert one type to another type okay type casting is a method it will convert one data type to another data type means it convert so for example float to integer string to integer boolean to integer etc okay in python predefined functions are available to perform type casting what are there int of to convert any other type to integer except complex type except complex type int predefined function is used to convert any other type to complex uh, any other type to integer except complex so there are totally five predefined functions are available that are int float complex boolean and string first of all the first function is integer okay let's convert first function see here what is the purpose of int function it convert it convert any other type to integer except except complex first one is float to int and second one is bool to int bool to int and third one is string to int it doesn't convert a complex type to integer it doesn't convert complex to integer first one float number to integer float number to integer okay int of give one float number here one float number that is nothing but 12.89 here 12.89 is a float number so it will remove the fraction point and print only 12 and print only 12 that is nothing but integer okay int of int of 4.9 98 the answer is 4 okay first one float to integer and what is the second one boolean to integer give here boolean value true in the last session i already told about a boolean concept in that boolean true means 1 false is 0 okay true means 1 it will generate 1 okay again int of false int of false int of false it will generate zero is the answer zero is the answer and third one is string to integer string to integer means when i am giving string value when i am giving string value must you know you have to write some string here if you write alphabets if you write alphabet it doesn't convert it doesn't convert to integer value if you are provide any alphabet value it will generate an error message what is that value error invalid literals in type with base 10 it is not a digits it uh, in this string there is no digit value that's why it will generate a value error again i am converting int of i am giving one string here in that i am presenting only digits so it will convert a string to integer it will convert string to integer if i am giving if i am giving a number that number is in float form again it will generate an value error it will generate a value error because so whenever i am giving a int predefined function int predefined function it will convert string to integer 
In the conversion of string to integer, I am giving a int predefined function. Must and should you have to give here only decimal values. Decimal values is from 0 to 9. Any number, it doesn't accept alphabet and also it doesn't accept decimal fraction. It doesn't accept decimal fraction. It only accepts um, 0 to 9 in decimal form. Okay, 0 to 9 values only. Okay, this is about uh, int predefined function. Next one, float, float predefined function. What is the purpose of float? Okay, to convert any other type to float except complex, except complex. Complex data type doesn't convert to the float type. Here integer also, complex data type doesn't convert into the integer type. To convert any other type to float except complex type. So first of all, in the float the predefined function int to float it convert the integer value to float value next one bool to float and next one string to float okay integer to float bool to float string to float let's see an example of float predefined function first of all integer to float right here an integer value like 1 2 3 so it will generate a float value like it will print 123.0 it will print 123.0 because it is an integer number then you have to generate a value in float form 12.123.0 again i am giving float of 677. Again, it will generate 677.0. 677.0. Next one. Next conversion. Bool to float. Bool to float. Float of true. True means 1. But I have an answer in float form. So, 1.0 is the answer. Okay. Float of false. So, the answer is 0. Okay. Actually, the answer float uh, false is 0. But the answer is 0, 0.0. Because the predefined function float. That's why the answer is 0, 0.0. Okay. And next one. String to float. String to float. String. Again, I am giving the string value is in alphabet. It will generate an error message. Okay. It will generate an error message. Could not convert a string to float. Could not. It could not convert string to float because the string is in alphabet form. Okay. Okay. I am giving messages. Uh, I am giving here digits. Yes, it will convert. It will convert. The answer is 1, uh, one to 1 to point zero. Okay. Float 1234.90. Sorry, 97. Okay. So the answer is 1234.97. Okay. So this is the float predefined function. Float predefined function. I convert into float, boolean to float, and string to float. And next one complex. To convert any other type to Complex type. To convert any other type to integer to complex, float to complex, boolean to complex, string to complex. To convert complex of, to convert any number, any other type, into to complex, into to complex, bool to complex, string to complex, String to complex, bold to complex, mm, second one, I put second one, float to complex, float to complex, okay. It is a to complex, float to complex, boolean to complex and string to complex, okay. Let's see this example. Complex of, first one, it is a to complex, complex of, what is the integer number? I am giving 12. The answer is 
12 point means 12 plus 0 z because I am giving here only one parameter. I am giving here only one parameter that is nothing but real part. That is nothing but real part. The answer is 12 plus 0 j. 12 plus 0 j. If you want to give imaginary part also, you have to pass two parameters here. 12, 78. Then answer is 12 plus 78 j. 12 plus 78 j. Okay. So, next one. Next one is float to complex. Float to complex. Complex of, for example, I am giving 12.7. 12 point, the answer is 12.7 plus 0 j. Okay. If I want to give imaginary part also. So, the answer is 12.7 plus 67.89 j. Okay. Next. Complex of, uh, you have to give combinations also. Either integer Float, float integer like this. 12 comma 78.9. The answer is 12 plus 78.9 J. Okay. So, this is the next conversion. That is nothing but float to complex. And next conversion is bool to complex. Bool to complex. Okay. Complex of, take Boolean number. Boolean number is nothing but true. So, 1 plus 0 j is the answer. Okay. Complex of complex of true comma true. 1 plus 1 j is the answer. 1 plus 1 j is the answer. Next one. Complex of false comma true. Here 0 j is the answer. 0 sorry. 1 j is the answer because uh, False is a false is a first parameter. Okay, false is a first parameter uh, that is a zero, and true is a second parameter. One j is the answer. For example, I'm giving false, false, comma, false. Then the answer is zero j. Okay, so zero j. False. The first parameter is zero. That's why it generate only one j. Okay, and here complex of False comma false. The first parameter is 0 and second parameter is also 0. That's why it generates 0 j is the answer. Okay. And the last conversion string to complex. String to complex. What is the string value? See here. I am giving one string value that is in the form of alphabets. Again, it will generate an error message. Okay. So, it generate an error message. And next, I am giving complex of, complex of, what is the string? 123. Okay. It will generate 123 plus 0 j. 123 plus 0 j. Okay. But, uh, I have to put, uh, I have to put imaginary part also. Complex of, complex of, okay, 123, comma, 78. These two parameters are in strings format. These two parameters are in strings format 123 and 78. Okay. Then now it will generate an error message. It will generate an error message. See here. Type error. Can't take second argument if first argument is string. What this error saying? If the first argument is string, it doesn't take second argument. It doesn't take second argument. Okay, I'm trying. Complex of, I'm giving first argument as integer and second argument as string. Again, it will generate an error message. Again, it will generate an error message. See here, what is that? Complex, second argument can't be a string. Second argument can't be a string. Means, while converting string to complex, it will take only one argument that is nothing but real part. It will take only one argument. It doesn't take imaginary part. It will take only real part. Okay. Next. 
boolean to convert any other type to boolean it will convert any other type to boolean bool bool predefined function the first one is integer to bool integer to bool second one is float to bool okay third one is complex to bool complex to bool and fourth one is string to bool to convert any other type to boolean integer to bool float to bool complex to bool string to bool okay see the example first one is bool of any number you have to give any number it will be treated as true you have to give any number it will be treated as true okay bool of for example i am taking zero i am taking zero it will be treated as false you have to give any integer value it will be treated as true so if you give zero number it will be treated as false okay the next one float to bool okay i am giving here float value 67.90 you have to give any number in decimal form in fraction format uh, that will be treated as true that will be treated as true for example here 0.00001 so here one is there na so it is also treated as it is also treated as true not 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 point is also treated as true so i am giving here 0.0000 so it will treated as false it will treated as false okay and the next conversion complex to bool complex to bool okay what is the complex number you here 12 point uh, 12 plus 89 j okay it will be treated as true it will be treated as true you have to give any number it will be treated as true okay i am giving here 0 plus 1j again it will also be treated as true again bool of 0 plus 0.001j again it will also be treated as because not not one point that's why it will treated as true bool of 0 plus 0j now it will treated as because the real part is zero and imaginary part is also zero that's why it will be treated as false that's it okay and the next conversion string to bool next conversion string to bool convert convert it bool of for example you should write here any number any number it will be treated as true okay bool of i'm writing here alphabets okay okay i'm writing here alphabets no problem it will execute it successfully but the answer is true but the answer is true okay next one bool of so when it's come false all of you think about zero all of you think about zero okay for example i'm giving 0.001 okay it will generate it true okay bool of 000 okay the students who are watching this now all the students think about the answer is false okay i think the answer is false actually that is uh, that is wrong then the answer is true answer is true because in the string some digits are there in the string some digits are there either that be zero or one or alphabet or special character anything some content is there that's why it will be treated as true in string some content is there that's why it will be treated as true if bool of okay i am giving empty string there is no content here then 
it will be treated as false then it will be treated as false okay all of you clear about this okay next next one string to bool string to bool okay i think it is completed string to bool is also completed and next step to convert any other type to string type it will convert any other type to string type next conversion str predefined function to convert any other type to string into to string okay float to string complex to string boolean to string int to string float to string complex to string boolean to string see here example this is an example for str predefined function the first one is int to string so str you have to give any integer number okay any integer number it will be converted into string string what is string any sequence of characters that are enclosed within single quants or double quants okay so here it is the answer okay next str of 78 point next next conversion next conversion is float to string 78.89 it is a float value it will be converted into string so the answer is 78.89 enclosed within single quants that is the answer okay and next one boolean to string true so the answer is not one okay the answer is not one so these true can be enclosed within single quants that is the answer str of false str of false these false can be enclosed within single quants okay and the last conversion complex to complex to string give me a complex number 12 plus 89j okay 12 plus 89j can be enclosed within single quants okay that is the answer str of again i am giving 67 plus 90.87j it is also converted into string so within single quants okay so here it is the last conversion to convert any other type to string type okay totally there are five predefined functions are there in type conversion actually what is type casting to convert one data type to another data type in python predefined functions are available to convert one data type to another data type what are that int predefined function float predefined function complex predefined function boolean predefined function and string predefined function in integer and float it will convert any other data type to int and it will convert any other data type to float except complex these two data, uh, these two predefined functions are not converted to complex to these predefined function that are nothing but integer and float but complex boolean and string convert any other type to that predefined functions okay i hope uh, all of you got these uh, type conversions concept in the next session i will discuss about uh, so how to start a python program okay how to start a python program how to write a programs in python language okay i will discuss about that topics in the next session okay i hope all of you got uh, what about type conversions okay thanks for watching